In Apache X, networking and routing configurations are two of the key prerequisites for API proxy deployment. In the previous video, you learned about the Apache X networking architecture and how to verify the networking configuration of an Apache X organization. In this video, you will learn about the routing data model, how it is applied in Apache X instances, and how to verify the routing configuration in an Apache X organization. Are you wondering what is the routing data model in Apache X? It's a collection of entities and configurations that ensures that API requests are routed to the right API proxy. To route the API request to the correct API proxy, you need to create Apache instances for provisioning runtime components in Apache X organizations. An organization can have one or more instances based on your subscription entitlements of the organization and the regional availability requirements of your API proxies. Next, attach the environments to the Apache instances. Apache creates and dedicates runtime pods for each environment. When the Apache runtime is ready, API developers can create API proxy revisions and deploy them to environments. Each API proxy revision will have a base path used to route API requests to the proxy revision. Combine the environments into environment groups and define the host names of the API proxy endpoints. Finally, the host names, base paths, and Apigee runtime pod configuration will be used to configure the routing definition of API proxies in the ingress gateways. To illustrate how the routing data model is used, we'll first look at a single region deployment. Here, the routing data model will be configured in the ingress gateways in the Apigee instance. A global load balancer will then be configured for routing API requests to the ingress gateways via a managed instance group or MIG. Once the API requests are received by the ingress gateway, it will use the host name configured in the environment group, the base path configured in the API proxy, and the environment configuration for dispatching the request to the Apache runtime pods for the relevant environment. In contrast, multi-region deployments will have multiple MIGs added to the same backend or separate backends of the global load balancer. If multiple MIGs are added to separate backends, host and path rules can be used for routing API requests to the relevant Apache X instances based on host names and paths. Be aware, API requests will fail with HTTP 404 not found errors if the API proxy is not deployed or if the base path is not found. More importantly, HTTP 503 service unavailable errors will be raised if the API proxy is deployed to an environment that is not attached to the instance. All right, we are all set. Let's switch to the Apache UI and verify the routing configuration of an API proxy in a sample Apache X organization. First, we'll verify the list of Apache instances and their environment attachments. Sign into the Apache UI, navigate to admin environments page and note the environments associated with this organization. Go to admin instances page and verify that the environments attached to all of the instances are correct. In this organization, environment dev is only attached to one instance, which is valid. Note you can attach or deattach environments of any instance if required. In the admin environments groups page, note the host names configured for the environments. In this organization, the host name is defined as dev.example.com for the dev environment through the dev-example environment group. Similarly, for the test environment, the hostname is test.example.com defined through the test-example environment group. We will now verify the API proxy configuration. The revision number one of the sample proxy, hello world, is deployed to the dev environment. The base path of this proxy is hello-world. Great, the verification is completed. With this configuration, we should be able to access the API proxy hello world with the hostname dev.example.com and base path hello-world through the load balancer. Let's try it out. Make an API request using the curl command by mapping the domain name to the load balancer IP address. Congratulations, the API request completed successfully with a 200 response. Thanks for watching.